This is Aeschylus glabra, the Ohio buckeye or American horse chestnut. It's a tree of moist forests in South Central and Midwestern North America. And actually its natural range doesn't extend into Wisconsin. It pretty much stops in Southern Michigan. And it's of course the state tree of Ohio. So let's take a look at how we identify the Ohio buckeye. The leaves of Aeschylus, the genus, are opposite and palmately compound, which means the leaflets radiate from a central point. There are five to seven leaflets in Aeschylus glabra. And if you look at the margin of the leaf, you can see that it's finely toothed. The leaflets are shaped either as a sort of lanceolate shape, like this one here, or they can be slightly ob-lanceolate, which means that the, the half of the leaf toward the tip is a little bit wider than the half of the leaf uh, toward the base, right? So it's a little bit ob-lanceolate. So the flowers of Ohio buckeye that aren't on this tree anymore, we've missed them, um, are born in this branched panicle structure. And they develop into these kind of spiny um, capsules that have short spines on them. And this capsule will get substantially bigger, about an inch to an inch and a half across. And inside it will open up, it'll split to reveal one to three shiny brown seeds with a large light brown scar on them horse chestnuts are what those fruits are called. And both the leaves and the seeds are toxic, are poisonous to humans and animals. There are also a couple of traits of the bud that is worth looking at here in Ohio Buckeye. This bud um, will get bigger through the season, but it's uh, pointed and has this tan color to it. Um, it is a somewhat dull uh, color and it is not sticky to the touch. And this will help you distinguish the Ohio buckeye from the European horse chestnut, which we will look at uh, on a different video. The bark is medium gray and shallowly fissured. 